just breathe. A light shimmered through the darkness. She could sense it, even with her eyes closed. For a moment, Zelda was convinced she had managed to draw magic. Somehow. Zelda, can you hear me? Zelda felt shock run through her. She knew that voice. It was the voice of a man who, in happier days, held her upon his knee. Long ago, his roaring laughter had been one of the sweetest sounds she knew. Her father? No. It can't be. Eyes still closed, Zelda tried ignoring that voice. It couldn't be real. If this was another attempt to break her, it wouldn't work. This won't work, Ganondorf, she said hoarsely. Zelda, I know you are afraid. I know you don't believe it's me. But you would know if this were a trick. The essence of Nehru grants you that ability. Her father's voice, once so fierce and commanding, was unusually gentle and even kind. My dear Zelda, her father said, an almost pleading edge in his voice. I know you are angry with me, and you have every right to be. The world I have left you, a shattered kingdom, was not the inheritance I meant for you to have. Please, child, are you too ashamed of what I've done to look upon my face? Drawing a deep breath, Zelda opened her eyes and raised her head slowly. Zelda was looking at her father's shade, a spirit bound to the realm of the living by regrets of a lifelong lost. Her eyes met his own. King Nohansen didn't seem the imposing figure that Zelda had known in the years after her mother's death. There was a sense of sadness and regret in his eyes that she hadn't known before. Now you come? She asked, wincing at her bitter tone. After everything that has happened, you come now? Nohansen's face was pained. I wanted to speak to you, but the goddesses forbade it when they sent me back. This was a punishment for what I had done. Yet you disobey them again? Zelda asked. Goddesses. Her voice was frightfully cold. I was never good at following the codes the goddesses gave us, even though I swore to uphold them as a king. Nohansen replied. Zelda could feel the anger stirring deep within her. Only the shock at hearing her father speak with such humility tempered it. He'd never been known as a humble king, not amongst his court or his family. Why have you come? She demanded, taking no satisfaction when he recoiled at her tone. To seek my forgiveness? I can understand if you did not accept a child's word, but to ignore the ones who secured your throne. You destroyed this kingdom and left our house in ruins! She regretted the words as soon as they left her mouth. Her father was tricked, just like the Gerudo and the rest of his council. Ganondorf had pulled the wool over their eyes. It was his fault, not her father's. You are right, Nohansen said. I did destroy this kingdom. That admission hit her like a splash of icy water. She hadn't expected that, and for a moment Zelda just stared, speechless. Her accusations had been harsh, unfair, and not entirely true. But he had agreed with them anyway. You didn't answer my question, she said. The anger buried deep within her was still stirring, desperate to reach the surface. Why have you come? Nohansen looked troubled. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. I fear he will come for you soon. That is very observant of you, Zelda said. She tasted the sarcasm in those words, and it sickened her. Goddesses, she thought. When had she become so cold? Her father's ghost was quiet for a moment. Zelda, he said softly. Please, let me help you. Zelda did not meet his eyes. Whatever happens, no matter how hard things get, remember who you are. You are my daughter, and I am proud of you. I promise, whatever happens, I will be by your side. Zelda bit her lip, her eyes burning with unshed tears. She didn't look up, shame building inside of her. He was only trying to help her, and yet she had returned his kindness with cruel words. You are the only good thing I have given this kingdom, Zelda, Nohansen said, his voice quiet and almost pained. Please, I know I was not much of a father. And I was a terrible king. But can you forgive 
an old man his sins. <laughs> <laughs>